Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go over a program I use for my 891, and uh, of course I'm just a full disclaimer, I am not affiliated with RT Systems, or they're paying me in any way. I just went out and bought the software, because uh, I, I love it. It works really great, and I'll tell you why. Uh, 891, guys, a lot of you guys know what that radio is. It's a great radio, but it has one major flaw on it which it doesn't have an SD card or any kind of memory card in it to back up all your settings. So for that, you get your radio all set up and it craps the bed and you lose all your memory, all that stuff, and you have to reprogram it all. And we all know how intuitive the 891 structure is. It becomes a, It's kind of a pain, but once you figure it out, you figure it out. But who wants to go back a year two years later and try to remember all the settings and all that. Nobody wants to do it. I mean, you could write it down and you could go through all the stuff and pre-punch it in, but why when you could use this software? Now, again, I'm not endorsing this software, I'm getting paid for it, but I'm saying it's a great thing and it's worth your bucks to get it. Um, go to the website, you'll see on there it's 35 bucks, you get a cable and it recommends get the cable down somewhere a disclaimer performance and ease and guarantee and all that crap now yeah, you know what if you got yourself a good usb to c cable use it um instead of waiting for it in the mail or whatever you want to get you could get the what is it the the key gen or whatever the key for this software you could download it and you could get the key right away and start using it you don't have to wait for it so i suggest you find yourself a good cable if you already have one nothing special about it any old one will do and go out and download this program. So, why am I endorsing it so much? First off, the memory feature is wicked. You can go in there and save all your stuff. Uh, secondly, is the ease of use of the radio. The radio, as you know, if you don't have anything preset on it, or if you went through the uh, trouble presetting all the, the memories, you have to go and you have to push the band button, you gotta spin the dial, Hopefully you, don't, you do it in time so it doesn't time out on you. Push the band, spin it again. Go to, like, let's try finding 14. Okay, we're, yeah, we're at 14. There we are, we're on 14. Hey, I want to sw quickly switch it over to 17. Let's go over there. Oh, yeah, we got lucky. Well, it's on digital for some reason. Hold down the button for whatever, how long. That's the last time it was at. Go to sideband. Oh. I didn't spin it quick enough. This is not a lie. This is really how it is to run it around. There we go, sideband. There we go. We're in it. Now we want to go back to 20. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, we got lucky there. All right. That is one way of doing it. The better way to do it is to have preset memory buttons. I simply push the VM here. And we're going to turn this dial, push that, and I have all my frequency, all my bands pre-programmed in the radio just by pushing this button right here. And you use this dial here, and you go through all your, your bands. You go down to 10, FM, AM. Look how quick that is. It's just like that. You just turn this, and once you get onto now, for one, you'll see this. I accidentally erased this memory channel name. It used to be 20 meters. So we're going to go and fix that right now. So let's see here. We got that, and we're going to right into the program. So this is the program opened up. I already loaded up my radio on it because I didn't want you guys to wait for me to go and do all this stuff. And you'll see on here. We'll get onto the right uh, right page that you can type in what you want. So right on here is a little squiggly thing. So I'm going to type in there 20 m as in meters SSB, and I pushed a hot key there, but we'll get off of that. All right, so 20 meters SSB is in there now. And if we go back to the radio, what it shows is, obviously we didn't write to it yet, 
you can see there I go 15, 17, that's supposed to be 20, then 40. All right, so if we go back into the programming software and we're going to write this to the radio and we'll see how bad it goes. Let's see here, send data to the radio. Make sure that, yes, yes, cat's hooked up. Sending memory channels. So while it's doing that, let's get an update on what the radio is doing. It's going all crazy. There we go. We're sending it to the radio now. So we'll see what happens after it loads up. Oh, there's a few other tricks with this. Of course, you're saving up all your savings. So or save all your savings on the radio are saved on this program. So if you uh, destroy your radio or something like that, or if you want to clone it, you could clone it to your original radio. Uh, all your presets on your channels are there, your baud rates, your FT8 settings. So it's very important that you know how that is all set up. That is all pre-configured already. And you could go there and you could punch it back into the radio and it's done. Uh, the neat thing about it is it's really quick because you can put your names of your channels on there. I, I think there's a way of doing it on the radio, but I'm a guy that likes to use the computer and run all that kind of stuff. While we're waiting for it to load up, I don't want to push too many buttons here. You'll see on the front of my radio, I have these three hotkeys. Those are my most used hotkeys. Trust me, I got over 20,000 QSOs on this radio, and this is what works for me. DNR, I'll show you that in a second. Noise blanking, which I use in my vehicle, and the IPO, which is kind of like your amp. All right, let's see what we got now. We're going to push this button. 80 meter sideband. Go in there. 40 meter sideband, 20 meter. There it rode to a 20 meter sideband. Simple as that. Beautiful program, beautiful program. And it is one thing that, like I said, you guys, you guys have to get this because if you if you keep on doing it the hard way, man, you're just not gonna love it as much. You're gonna love this a lot better having this. You can see there's 20 meter sideband. Another great thing on this program, which is just unbelievable, is, and all these blinkers here, let's here, let's clear this off. There's a warning on there that's telling me, yes, okay. All right, we have it on here. You see at the bottom, if you guys have a have a eagle eye, you'll see here have some uh, CB channel, Citizen Ben. Using them only for, tran not transmit, only for receive, sorry, and the reason why I have them on there is a, it's a great beacon to see if 10 meters is open. If if the chicken band's open, usually I get 10 meters. So I got them programmed in there so I could get in there quick and see if Channel 6, the Super Bowl, is uh, alive and well. So let's go back to another thing on here. On the top, radio menu settings is an option. You guys are going to love this one. Let it show up here, and we're going to see... It is not showing up on the thing, so let's get her on and put on to this window here. And then we're going to show you that it is, there we go, let's get her on there. And control F, there we go, okay, beautiful. Let's transfer that over here. Here's the radio programming menu, and on this... Get my mouse on there if you guys can see it. You have everything with your general display dimmer uh, for your CW, your Kier, uh, RXTX, your delays, uh, the AGC, TX audio, sideband power. That's all in the menus, of course, on the front. But you could you could set this all up. Uh, operating mode, your data gain, output outlet level. It, this is so many things. And you could do a bunch of pre, predefined uh, setups and see what works best for your FT8 or for your audio. It's a great, great program to get all this stuff in there. So keep it basic, you guys. Go to this website, down it, download it, say Mr. Mud sent you. I don't know if I'm going to get anything for it, but you guys from, uh, from the software here, yeah, give me something. I would love it for you. I love you for you. So anyway, for now, 73s, see hams on the bands, and enjoy the 891, and get out there and play some POTA. 73s.